Here's another demo flight of me just playing around a little bit and getting used to the G3. I don't play with simulators much. They weren't out when I started. Wish they were because they would have saved me a lot of money. And uh, I think the, we can contribute some of the growth of 3D due to the simulators. It really is a good training aid. Keep in mind if you're going to fly your helicopter in this kind of fashion and put extreme loads on it, you want to make sure it's built correctly and stay on top of the maintenance. It's important to make sure that your fuel filter is clean, that you replace your clunk line from time to time, and do a good thorough check of your helicopter every once in a while to make sure nothing is going to fly off and uh, that it's built correctly. A lot of crashes result in people that are flying like this and they just don't stay on top of the maintenance of their helicopter or they let something you know really inexpensive like a clunk line or a fuel filter cause a uh, $500 crash and I've seen that happen a lot. A lot of people that come to Freestyle 3D for lessons I see a lot of the same mistakes over and over again you know, bolts falling off of helicopters and things like that so trying to get the word out that if you're going to fly a hard 3D like this or just fly in general for that matter that the helicopter has to be built correctly so take the extra time and, and uh, really make sure that your helicopter is uh, maintained properly and dialed in right and uh, set up correctly that'll make 3D flying a lot easier for you